Construction and design work has just finished at Manitoki Eco Retreat and it's time to introduce Gisborne's latest upmarket rural glamping venue to the world. The twin tent lakeside glamping site, built on a raised platform above the TRI Roto wetland and lake, is carefully designed and luxuriously furnished with sustainability and eco principles paramount. It's off the grid, powered only by the sun and visually beautiful. A glimmer of the idea for the retreat came to owner Richie Clark a few years ago while he was travelling through Africa. We've, we've been planning this for a good year and a half. Yeah, did, did the Africa trip, that sort of gave me the inspiration. And then a friend of ours from uh, Clifton uh, Glamping in, in Hawke's Bay, uh, they did one a couple of years ago as well. And um, they've just built their second one, uh, went and checked that out. And yeah, really, really liked what I saw and thought that we could um, replicate one here. He had the paddock surveyed and found there was virtually no fall, which meant by building a dam wall, he could create an eight hectare lake. After two winters, the lake filled with water and the Tiaro Roto wetland was born, along with Richie's vision to create an eco retreat on the lake shore. With hotels, you're, you spend a lot of money for you know five star luxury, but you're only spending a small, small amount of time in that in that room. You're spending most of your time out eating in restaurants and going down to the lobby and having breakfast and so you spend very little time in the actual room. Um, but with the, the beauty about glamping, you spend, you can spend the whole weekend in and around the uh, glamp site. The retreat hosted its first guests last week and is now fielding inquiries from far and wide. Richie envisages the retreat as a place to disconnect from social media and reconnect with nature a restorative healing haven. The camping concept is experience-based, being part of nature, waking up with the birds and going to sleep when it's dark, he says. Guests can explore TRI Roto on two stand-up paddle boards and a two-man kayak and visit the little island in the middle of the lake. It's about 160 hectares that surrounds this glamp site and we put in about 10 kilometres of roads uh, a few years back, so yeah, perfect for hiking and, and mountain biking and we've planted uh, yeah, uh, redwoods and cedar and eucalyptus and uh, yeah, loose tanica uh, trees, so we'll grow those out for the next 50 years and uh, yeah, create a um, pretty cool place for, for people to enjoy. Exploring the site, you get the impression it's built to last. It's the first tent of its kind in New Zealand, Richie says, showing me round the luxurious master bedroom with a queen-size bed, ensuite and open-air shower tucked in behind. It's seriously sturdy, heavy-duty canvas made in South Africa. Next door is a sumptuously appointed circular bell tent with a queen-size bed and a separate cylindrical building housing a sophisticated, state-of-the-art eco-toilet with a high-tech, solar-powered dehydrator that guarantees the system is odourless. Out the front is a partly enclosed kitchen, an open-air clawfoot bathtub that belonged to Richie's grandmother, and a seating area overlooking the jetty and lake. The jetty with its circular platform extending into the lake is a striking feature. The round shape was a challenge for the builders, but it really anchors the whole thing. In the evening, guests can pull up a beanbag on the lawn. Richie hopes to inspire other landowners around the country to convert marginal farmland into wetlands and look for other ways to receive income from the land.